Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Summer Shorts 4 performance. I'm Sam Richardson. I'm Dakota James. I'm Addison Peter, and I'm the Assistant Director of Summer Shorts 4. And I want to introduce this week's show, The Elves and the Shoemaker. We have had another great week helping these students create characters and a new script for your enjoyment. They've also had a great time keeping the energy through for the audience members this week. We had such a great time with last week's and this week's. We're really excited to see what you think of it. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Have you ever heard the story of the elves and the shoemaker? Come with us as we go inside the shop and secretly tell the story as it happens. Here, let's hide in here so she doesn't see us. Great idea. Once upon a time. When I was young and you were even younger. Lived a lonely shoemaker. I'm sorry, you wanted me to make you what? Some quacks. Crocodile high shoes. I can do that, but I would have to ask for payment in advance because... No, the quacks with the rubber shoes, with the holes on the top, and, and they have the strap that goes from comfort to action mode. They're all the rage in a land called Ohio. Who has ever heard of such a thing? Never mind, mister. It doesn't look like you have any materials to make any shoes anyway. It was true. The shoemaker only had enough material left to make one pair of shoes. After that, he would have to close up shop. Just then. Good evening, dear fellow. Sorry for coming into your store so late at night. But well, I am in need of a new pair of shoes, and you seem to be the only shoemaker in town. That is right, sir. But I will only be open to make one last pair of shoes, then we will have to close. Well, sir, I would be honored to pay for and wear the last of your shoes. Can you have them made by the morning? Sure. See you in the morning, then. Good night. Good night. I can't believe this is the last pair of shoes I will ever make. How will I live? How will I survive? How will I be able to keep watching Disney Plus? I have to watch Hamilton! The shoemaker then set right to work. But having worked hard all day, he slowly started to drift off to sleep. Good morning, shoemaker. Do you have my shoes ready? The shoemaker woke with a startle and started to look around. Oh, I'm so sorry, my dear man. I, I started to work on them and then, and then making them the finest shoes in the land, but... My word! I know I am sorry. Sorry? Why would you be sorry? These are indeed the finest shoes I've ever seen. What? The shoemaker puts on his glasses and noticed that in the person's hands were indeed the finest shoes anyone had ever seen. Dear sir, I shall pay you double your usual rate. And so all that I need, you make such wonderful shoes. Sir, I hope that you, this will help you stay open. <laughs> Thank you ever so kindly. Unsure of how the shoes were made, the shoemaker took the money to buy enough leather to make two pairs of shoes and some food for the day. I shall cut the leather for two pairs of shoes today then create two masterpieces in the morning. They will be pure green with camel sequins and paisley feathers. Ooh, ooh, or blue neon cheetah prints 
with sparklers or even knives, I feel. Perfect! And so we cut out enough material to make two fabulous pairs of shoes and then rested for the night. But when he woke in the morning, he found that the two pairs of shoes had already been made. Wow, the shoes are done. Then there was a knock on the door. Let us in! Let us in, let us in. We must have shoes made by you. Well, as luck would have it, I have made two pairs that you may purchase. Wow, Yelp was not lying. These are the most fantastic shoes in the world. Try them on! Why, they are light as air. Both of them gave the shoemaker double the price of the shoes and left as happy as could be. My word, I have enough to buy four pairs of shoes and enough left over for food this week. I could even buy a Nintendo Switch with Animal Crossing Ooh, and decorate it with my camo sequins. Dang the lucky stars above. And so this went on for many weeks. He would cut out the material to make the shoes, and in the morning, they would be made, each more spectacular than the last. The shoemaker got customers from all over town purchasing his shoes. Until one night. I must find out how this is happening. I shall hide in my closet and spy through the keyhole to find out how this is happening. So into the closet he went. At midnight, two little elves came into the store through the mailbox. Neither of them had shoes on their feet. My word! Look at all the material we have tonight! But I'm just glad he hasn't brought any rubber. I would hate to make crocs. They are very comfy. But they're so ugly. As the two elves argued through the night, the shoemaker watched as they began to stitch, sew, and hammer so skillfully and so quickly with their little fingers that the shoemaker could not turn away his eyes for astonishment. When the elves had finished their work, they jumped back out and through the mailbox. My goodness, I cannot believe my eyes. Elves, they are real. I can barely believe it. But neither had shoes of their own. That's it. I shall repay them. I will write them a note and make each of them their own pair of shoes. Good morning, Jamaica. I wrote like two. I am sorry, but we are close today. Close? Yes. It's a holiday today. How do you say that? It's National Hot Fudge Sunday day. I shall see you tomorrow. And with that, he threw the man out of his shop and set to work on the tiny elf shoes. That night, when the elves visited, Puppy, but it's a bit cold. Why do you want such a thing? What's this? Looks like a letter. Well, of course it's a letter, but it's addressed to us. Well, read it. Dear Elfo, thank you ever so much for the lovely shoes that you have made over these past few weeks. Please accept these shoes I have made for you as a gift. I need shoes! I have never seen shoes so perfect for us. They are certainly nice as the people. Come on, let's get to work. As they worked through the night, the shoemaker snuck into the room and noticed their clothes were ripped and stained. I shall fix that for them. The next morning. Hello again, Shumaga. I have come. Hi. I'm sorry, but we are close today. Again? Yes. Why? 
Harry Potter marathon on Sci-Fi. That's that. Now, to make some clothes. The shoemaker spent all day making trousers, shorts, skirts, shirts, hoodies, suits, and ties. All that the elves would ever need for clothing. That should make them happy. That night when the elves arrived. All I'm saying is that if I was king, Jamrock Shake would be available year round. The success of the Shamrock Shake depends on the fact that it's limited in seasons where the demand is high and supply is low. People want that minty freshness at a specific time of the year, you know. My word! Look! Clothes? A place of fool! Why, it is too kind. Let's make the most amazing shoes this town will ever see. And so they did. They made the shoes the likes of only Lady Gaga would have seen before. And even then, never this well made. In the morning, the shoemaker came downstairs. Open a shirt. Why would we be closed? Come on in. That day, the shoemaker has so much joy in his heart for making the elf so happy, he sold all the shoes he had in stock. Excuse me, young girl. Me? Yes, you. I need you to do me a favor. Sir, my time is precious. Oh, I would pay for you to run to the market and buy me some more material for my shoes. How much? Name your price. A Nintendo Switch? Any other day, I would say no, but today is different. Hmm, with Animal Crossing? As long as you put a shoemaker in your village to remember me by. Fine. Done. Now run along. While the girl ran off to the market to buy new material for the shoemaker, the shoemaker sat down to write a letter to the elves. <clears throat> Dear elves, you have been beyond kind to me. I was not sure how to thank you before. That is why I made you shoes for your feet and clothing to replace your worn out fashion. But I believe that what is needed for you to know is that you are no longer needed. No longer needed? He doesn't need us anymore? Keep greeting. For I've been given new life from your help. As I hope that you have been given by me. My wish is that you go help someone else. How interesting. I'm so confused by this. Have we not made him happy? That's it. We have. And now he's letting us know that we can move on to make somebody else happy. Well, I... Huh. Come on. I hear there's a goose on your boat tonight. Well, that sounds messy. Let's go home. And with that, the elves jumped through the mailbox and would never be seen by the shoemaker again. The next morning. Good morning. How may I help you? I need some shoes. Just not Crocs. It's too... Ohio. And with that... The shoemaker lived happily ever after.